Alright guys, what is up? It is Josh back with another video. In today's video, what I'm actually going to be doing is I'm going to be switching it up. I'm going to be doing a bit of a general editing tutorial and I'm going to be showing you different transitions you can actually use in your own YouTube videos, whether it's tutorials, content videos, vlogs, all that stuff. You're covered in this video. The software I'm actually going to go over is Adobe After Effects, but I will have presets for DaVinci Resolve that does the exact same thing. So if you want to follow along with After Effects, you can do that. And if you want to kind of follow the same process, you can use the DaVinci Resolve presets that I actually will display in and after effects as well quick before i actually get into it though i just want to say a lot of you guys about 70 percent are not subscribed to the channel yet so make sure to drop a sub it is 100 free for you guys to do and you can change your mind at a later date but with that being said i will see you guys on my pc any questions you guys have leave them down below in the comments and i'll do my best to answer each and every one of them i'll see you guys on my pc all right guys so i'm going to be displaying three different types of transitions all you got to do is just get the footage that you want to use so for me i'm honestly just going to take two different like sports clips or whatever so i'm just going to drag that into my media pool and after effects and then what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to drag it in right here this video is kind of long so i'm just going to shorten it down just a bit and then we'll just uh trim it right here and i didn't mean to duplicate it so just press Control shift d to trim it down and i'm just going to press uh, this to fill it this is just a random like football clip just like that i'm going to mute the audio just because it will sound weird um if it's just cutting off randomly so i'm just going to take a small portion of this and drag that in and it's still very long so we're just going to do something like this and then cut it down on this side i'm actually going to cut it down on this side as well so this is pretty much just the only two clips that we're going to be using for this i'm going to drag it to the very beginning and we can see that and this one has audio so it's just like this it's just two random seattle seahawks um clips for i don't even know like hits or whatever that i had for a sports edit that i wanted to do um for transitions all you got to do just make sure that there's a split point between the two we're just going to press Control alt y while in the top layer of video and this will add an adjustment layer we're just going to trim it down on either side and then from here we can go to our effects and presets and look up blur mode curves which is what you're actually going to be using for these transitions and the cool thing about blur mode curves is it is able to be edited in the graph as is everything in after effects and um, you can change the values easily all on one layer versus having to do you know a, a scale on this one and then a scale on this one and line it up you can just do a scale um, with the z distance on blur mode curves so the first transition i'm going to be showing you is the zoom in or a zoom out um, the values i use for this are 0.7 and 1.4 depending on what you want to do first so let's say we want to do a zoom in we can see that 0.7 actually brings our thing in so obviously this will be the zoom in transition if we want to do the zoom out to start we'd make the first value 1.4 um, so just make sure it's set on one we're just going to go to the separation point press con or fnl or whatever your arrow keys are are to actually go back and we're going to go to the frame before and for our zoom out it's going to be 0.7 so we're just going to keyframe the 0.7 the frame before since we are doing a zoom in and for me what i do it depends on the speed you want in your transition i'm going to go 15 frames back so we're going to go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 just like this we're going to keyframe this at one and we can see it slowly gets zoomed in and then what we're gonna do is actually on this cut, we're gonna flip the value. So the opposite of 0.7 is 1.4. Then we're gonna go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, just like this. And we're actually going to make this value one again. So we can see we have equal distance. It looks like four keyframes just like this. And it goes like this. And then we can see it kind of zooms out. Trust me, it looks kind of weird, but when we graph edit it, it will look good. Make sure we have our value set to reflect. Just that way it looks a lot smoother and there's not any black bars. Select all your keyframes. Press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. And we're going to go into our graph editor right here. Just copy this graph that I'm about to show just by doing this. And literally just like that, guys, you have your zoom in transition. It's that simple. We can see that it zooms in and then it goes like that and that's super clean all you got to do if you actually want to uh flip the values is you can bring this 0.7 after and bring the 1.4 before go into your graph editor and actually fix the graph on this one just like this and what that'll do is it'll allow for you to do a zoom out transition just like that and that is super easy just like that you have your zoom in and out transition so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to get rid of the keyframes and i'm going to be showing you how to do a position transition so that's whether it's going left right up down um that's up to you but i'm going to be showing you how to do let's say a left right so obviously the x-axis is going left to right y-axis is going up to down uh, that's something you learn in like i don't even know like fourth grade so um what we're going to do is i'm going to keyframe my shift x at something like I don't even know let's do five let's do something where it's in the middle so 
850 should be good just like this so we're gonna keyframe it on 850 and then on this next frame we're gonna keyframe it at negative 850 just like this and then we're gonna go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five keyframe this down at zero and then we're going to go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five and keyframe this at zero again and we can see it's a moving left transition just like this so we just got to make sure that we graph it at it like we did the other one so we're going to select these values and actually adjust the graph just like this and then adjust the graph right here just like this and there we go we got a nice little swipe transition you can adjust the values accordingly um, and then like i said this is swiping to the left or to the right I, I don't even know how to describe it but if you want it again like i said to inverse the values you just select all these and then um, would adjust it accordingly based on how it looks so that one's i'd say yeah that one's a swipe left i don't know what i was saying before but yeah swiping to the left and then if we wanted to we can get rid of these keyframes and change the value back to zero just like this and then if we wanted to do a swipe up down we could just do um something like this 500 keyframe go over here make this one negative 500 and then go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five change this value back to zero and then go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five change this value to zero press u to bring up our keyframes f9 and then we'll change this graph to look a little something like this and what that'll do we got our down or up transition depending on how you inverse them i've showed you how to inverse the keyframes just so you can flip it um, and then lastly the last transition I'm going to show you I'm gonna have all these presets in the description by the way guys So you can actually use them if you want we got a rotate transition So I'm just gonna change the rotate value to 90 right here And then we're gonna go one frame to the side and we're actually gonna change it to negative 90 And then we're gonna go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five like I said before We're going to change this to zero and then we're going to go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five change this one to zero and actually, I'm going to go five frames before because rotate transitions, when they look too harsh, they don't look the best. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Again, make it like 20 frames on either side. One, two, three, four, five. Just like this. Make this 20 frames. Whoops. And then we're going to F9. Graph edit. Boom. 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 Rotate. Just like that. And that's pretty much that. If you wanted to inverse it, you could do that as well. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, though. I hope it helped you out. And uh, obviously, the presets for DaVinci Resolve will be in the description as well, as well as the... Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I can't even speak. As well as the After Effects ones. So make sure to go check that out if you guys want to apply these to your videos easily. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, though. Bit of a different one. Not a Fortnite tutorial, but more of a content-based one. I hope these actually help you improve the quality of your videos. And I will see you guys in a future video on the channel. Peace out.